Well, hey, my friends. Happy pumpkin spice latte season to you. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. Catherine and Erica here coming at you live from the clubhouse in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we have had some cool weather this week. Oh my goodness. Cool is a relative term, depending on where you live in the world. You have to understand that in the South, if you don't live here, it stays hot until like sometimes the second, third week of October, we still get or some November. very hot days, which in my book is not okay. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, it wasn't like that. When we started school in September, I was wearing jeans and usually mm -hmm. like either a long sleeve or sometimes a short sleeve for the first couple of weeks. But that was like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Break out your fall clothes when you start school. Yeah. Now we're still wearing summer clothes well into October. Well, I had babies in October, November, and December, and they are almost 16, almost 18, and about to turn 21. What? That's crazy. The babies are big but girls. all of them <laughs> um, had summer clothing that they wore, all three of them. For school? For their... When they were born. Oh. Babies. So all three of them had like a couple cute little onesie outfits. Even Elena, who was born in December, wore them a couple times. But anyway... It's supposed to be fall, which is sweater yes. weather, and uh, it's been in, like in the 70s here this week, I think, right? 70s? It, it's dipped down into the 60s one day. It was like mm -hmm. high of 69, I think, on Tuesday, and I was in my bliss. Or no, what day is it? When? Monday. Well, I'm supposed to be going to the beach in two weeks. I know we're going to talk about that again. not okay. Because <laughs> my kids are like, oh, when it's, it's cold. I'm like, we're going to the beach. I think the beach is still a lot of fun when it's chilly. It's amazing. And, you know, a change of scenery. You just can't get into the pool. My kids have gone swimming in the ocean over Thanksgiving weekend before. Oh, wow. In North Carolina. It has happened. But anyway. Okay. If you are uh, joining us live, <laughs> leave a note in the chat for us letting us know where in the world you are, what the weather is like. Is it sweater weather or not? And if you're ready for some uh, fall card making. Yes. Last week and a little bit this week, we've been doing holiday card making because we just had our holiday collection release last week. Us card makers have to work well in advance, even though we're in fall. We are getting ready to make our Christmas cards. So we release, we release our holiday products mid-September always. Um, but over the next few weeks, you'll see us going back and forth between fall card making, uh, holiday card making and general card making whatever the whatever mood hits us at the day yeah I made a Halloween card yesterday too so and today we're gonna be doing three different kinds of card making we're gonna yes. make a Christmas card or a holiday card we're gonna make a fall card and we're gonna make a birthday card so who's ready I'm this ready is the inspiration so let's talk about this. We are coffee lovers, you and I. Yes. And we are admittedly Starbucks junkies. Although, you know, some people I don't people know if frown. I call myself a junkie. Well, because I'm so frugal. You are frugal. <laughs> you are really frugal. But we like we like a Starbucks treat every now and again. Starbucks is a treat for me. And I go to the ice cream shop, or I go get a nice cupcake, or I get a, a Starbucks. And admittedly, there are coffee shops in town that are probably way better coffee. But service is really convenient, and you know what you're getting. And we have, that's true, indulged in some nitro brews lately. Yeah. So I follow them <laughs> on Insta. And you guys, I see everything in CP Colors. Yeah. So I saw this ad a few weeks back, and I tagged it in my Insta feed because I saw CP Colors. And I wanted to make some. Oh. It's make something with those colors. And I was like, oh, I think this is a spa. I see hot tub. I see sangria. I see orange peel. I see mandarin spice. I see pink champagne. It could be polished even, but we've gone with pink champagne. That could be polished. I thought about it. And there's some creamy white in there and the hot tub in the background and oh, so many beautiful things. Should I show the card you made now you or should yeah. we show them the ink blending first? I don't. Ink blending first. Really? Okay. <laughs> She's going to make you guys hold tight. All right. So, and I um, was about to mention, if you are joining us for the replay, so this is a live stream event, so we are going to be stamping and chatting with uh, those that are watching us live. But if you are joining us later, uh, this is something that we would love you to interact with as well. So share it, like it, leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. We love it when you're with us. It's yeah. so fun. 
Okay, this needs to be refreshed. Yeah. I want to see what... Oh. Yeah, it's weird. It's happening. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted to do a literal interpretation of that add into a card. And we have a couple of different stamp sets that have pumpkins, like a pumpkin in them. But our biggest pumpkin set is... Is Hey There Pumpkin. Hey There Pumpkin. Hey There Pumpkin. Where is Hey There Pumpkin? And those, it's in your little box. This is... And those stamps... <laughs> we might have to get one from the shelf in a minute. <laughs> they're little patterned pumpkins, and they're stinking adorable, but this mm -hmm. ad had solid pumpkins, and I was befuddled for a minute, but <laughs> yesterday during your live, or Monday, it hit me. Duh. I could just die cut the pumpkins <laughs> out and do direct-to-paper color techniques. And make my own solid colored pumpkins. Guys, stretch your supplies. Let me grab, um, so I, yeah, let me grab that stamp set while you start showing Am them. Am start ink blending? Yeah, some okay. sassy ink blending techniques there. So here's my scratch paper. Well, they really want to see the card. <laughs> Joanna, okay. Uh, okay, all right, <laughs> here it is. What do you guys think? She did a really... But my Good. literal interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do a non-literal interpretation. So there is the inspiration. And there is Erica's card. I would say she hashtag nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. Whoops. I didn't mean for us to Oh, that's here. me. Hi. <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right. So we are going to do some ink blending. So we will start with orange peel. You know what? I think yours is at home. So let me grab one off the step, the, the shelf. Okay. That sounds good. We talk about your two office spaces and how. <laughs> yeah. So we do some lives when I'm home and some lives from the office. Uh, we have been coming into the office quite a bit now. Erica and I, over all of COVID and quarantine, have basically been in each other's bubbles. We don't see hardly anyone except each other. We're so bubble we're bubble buddies, uh, her with my family. And um, in the office, we do wear masks around everyone else. But when her and I are alone together, that sounds very intimate. Well, I, li I live by <laughs> myself, so there's no one in my household <laughs> bubble. bubble. Yeah. <laughs> So she has been in our little bubble. Um, that's why you'll see us wear, not wear masks around each other, but we do wear masks around everyone else, and we it's wear mask, masks in the office, so we stay safe and, and healthy here. Um, but I have two workspaces. I have my, my office at the office, and I have my office at home. And sometimes I don't have all the supplies I need at either. <laughs> we can, <laughs> lately, we can't ever find anything. Sometimes you're not here. And the other day, Hannah and I were in here. We were trying to do some um, photos for some stuff. And she's like, do you know where so-and-so is? And I was digging around, and we couldn't find it. I was like, I have no idea. It's, it's missing in action. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you liked my card. It's definitely the most literal interpretation I've ever managed. But I really felt when I saw that, I wanted to turn it into a card. So it's my Starbucks-inspired my ode to Starbucks <laughs> and their marketing geniuses. Look at that. Mandarin spice and orange peel. Yum. It's funny because Mandarin spice is a lot darker than orange peel, but here the shade, the shade of the colors look similar. Similar. This one is more yellow, more yellow orange, but they're both gorgeous colors. And it's fun when you're doing ink blending direct on a dye like this. Um, because our inks are translucent, that color is really buildable. So depending, if you use a light hand, mine look even lighter than yours because I kind of did a lighter hand. But you could like intensify yeah. just a corner of the pumpkin or part, like I did a little heavier across the bottoms so that oh, you could kind mm -hmm. of like, I don't know, give it a little shadowing little effect. Shadow. So, um, and then once you spray water and stuff on them, the color will lighten up a little bit as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if you've sprinkled water and it's gone lighter than you want, you can always blend color back over and keep going. So. All right. You guys know I am a big fan of a pink snowflake or any pink holiday card. I don't know what it is. <laughs> How about a pink pumpkin card? Oh, never thought about doing that. Why not? 
so fun. I'm having a little trouble with my blending brushes. That's why I'm going so dark with these because when I'm doing light, I'm getting streaks for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with my brushes today or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm, I'm the issue. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's pink champagne and then let's do a little sangria. Um, maybe this guy will be sangria. Let's see. I'm just browsing through here to see if anybody asked any questions that I missed. Um, and mostly just little comments. Um, just joining in. Oh, it's 88 in Tampa. That sounds about right. That, that feels okay to me for Florida. <laughs> <laughs> We're not as far south as that. I feel like Georgia and Florida can be hot into October, but... I'm a Virginia girl, and by, by mid-October, when I was a kid, the leaves were changing, and we'd go up to the Blue Ridge Parkway mm -hmm. and drive around. My dad always knew that prime week, and it was just so beautiful. And it's been a while since I've seen that. We don't really get it as much mm -hmm. here. I need to go to Asheville, probably. You know, on this one, diverting back to the stamping, um, I... I because I have stuff to say about what you're saying right now, <laughs> but i got to talk about the stamping for a second. Um, uh, I'm going a lot more light-handed on this one, so I was getting a much better ink blend. So ah. that is a tip for you. I'm like just really light touch, so I was just pushing down too hard. Oh, before. and that's why it got a little streaky. Yeah, and you would think I would know that after stamping for all these years, but anyway... So Lee is asking about our paper. Lee, we use Catherine Pooler uh, premium white cardstock for all of our projects. Um, we do occasionally use a watercolor paper if we're doing like heavy, heavy watercoloring technique. But um, for this, just regular CP cardstock will will do you just fine. On this one, you know what? I think I'm going to do a little mandarin orange on the bottom to give it a shadow, just to show you if you use two shades or two different colors. Um, you can get shading there. And I grew up in upstate New York, so half of the time by Halloween, we were wearing snow suits. Right? <laughs> so there we go. Not oh, sure. that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, do I need to do a hot tub one? This is sangria. Let me make sure I keep all these. Um, one with hot tub. I'm going to use my little water bottles to spray my hands off because they're getting a little inky. And my shoe. <laughs> you got, got your shoe. <laughs> Let's do one in hot tub. You know, you've got some, you've got some like hot tub in your shirt and skylight and polished. You nearly match the pumpkins today. I was kind of thinking that. <laughs> so, goodness me. Yeah, some folks down in Georgia and Alabama and Florida all, yep, hot, hot, hot. Will you grab me a piece of computer paper? Of course. I think I'm pulling some of the ink off of this oh, yes. onto my ink blending brush. And then it's getting a little So I did that as well. I was I used a piece of scrap paper that was a little shiny and I ended up picking up color. So um Thank you so much. Let's try that again. And when you're ink blending, um, where's my hot tub? Here we go. Okay, so when you're ink blending, it's a really good time to re-ink your ink pads. So you're just going to squeeze your bottle and run mm -hmm. it across the whole pad. A couple reasons. One, when you're ink blending, you're gonna pull a lot of that ink out of the pad because you're pulling ink out of the pad, so it's gonna <laughs> get a little less inked. And then now if I try to stamp with this, it's gonna be kind of streaky. Is this crooked? I think you're okay. Okay. Um, and then when you take your ink blending brush, you're gonna get a lot of ink on your brush and you're gonna get it smoothed and, and inked or evenly distributed throughout yeah. the pad. <laughs> All of that is gonna happen. <laughs> Those things will happen. Yeah, Holly, I don't know if her brush was dirty, a little dirty. That does happen as well sometimes. Yeah. I try to, like, blend it off to the side first just in case, but I'm I'm the worst at cleaning mine, and then I think I get way too much ink in it. It takes forever to clean yeah. it out. So probably should clean them more often. Oh, goodness. So Elizabeth is in upstate New York, and it's 76 oh. today. 
Where in upstate New York? I just have to ask. You know, let us know, Elizabeth. 76. My mom is in Canadagua. Is that a Native American word? I'm sure. Sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, like all the Finger Lakes, Canadagua, yeah. Seneca Lake, Cayuga, all those. All right, so look at all these gorgeous ink blended pumpkins. Now what am I going to do to these? I mean, you could use them solid because they look really gorgeous. They do look gorgeous. Um, you can also do water and splatter techniques. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. The world is your oyster. Hey, we have an announcement to make today. <laughs> Speaking of the world being your oyster, can we do it after I finish this card? Because I plan on making several cards for you guys today. I have a couple things up my sleeve that I want to do. Sweet. Um, I think I'll do a little bit. I want to do the like water, the this. Yeah. Okay. So someone just asked a brilliant question, Linda. And Linda, the answer is yes. So you could take a piece of paper and you could ink blend that piece of paper with different colors if you're happy to like even have some overlap spots or whatever. And then you could cut out your shapes from that paper. You definitely could do that. And then you wouldn't have the picking up color kind of thing happen. Mm -hmm. So if, and honestly, if you wanted to do that and then cut out a bunch of them at once, that would, that could be a time saver. It just kind of depends. There's always ways, different ways to go about things. Yeah. And also then it would be more like evenly colored. You wouldn't have the shading around the edges, edges. but it's just whatever look you're going for and what kind of time you have. And it could be more kind of marbly maybe looking if it, which it would be look a different effect. Distress. Distress sprayer. Don't be distressed. So, I can't. Where'd my paper go? Okay. So our ink is dye-based. So it's a water-based ink, and it's reactive with water. So if I take my sprayer, with the distress sprayer, if you give it a good, like, quick, it's going to do a fine mist. And if you just slowly pull the trigger, you're going to get bigger droplets. So then, look what happens to your ink. Love it. Yeah, it's very cool. So let's just do a few of these. I was having fun with this last night. My kids got me into Criminal Minds, so I've been watching that while I stamp in my room at home. Oh, I like that show. Oh, you know what? I gotta keep these down here because I'm gonna do more. I haven't watched any recent seasons though. Oh, I'm on like season one. Oh, okay. From way back in the I day. I used to watch it I've way back it. when I had TV. <laughs> so I want to do, <laughs> when you had TV, <laughs> I want to do some of this. I'm a big fan of the champagne gold, so let's do that. So this is the Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors watercolor set. Um, these are metallic watercolor paints, and they are fantabulous. Hmm, <laughs> fantabulous. Yes. I like it. I'm like scared now you're going to flick something on All our right. other cards over here. So. I know. And then I've got my ink pad yeah. sitting here. You guys, it's a disaster when it can to happen. Go cuckoo for Cocoa oh, Puffs. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yes. This, I'm so happy right now. And those of you, which is probably like everyone, who likes to like look at Pinterest for home decor ideas, those are great places to find inspo for card making. And I could totally see someone painting and flicking pumpkins like this mm. for their front porch. So... Maybe this will inspire you to do front porch decor. <laughs> you never know what you could be inspired to do over here. Then you'll have to show us what you made. Okay, so I've got a card base and a card layer. This is four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna, uh, let's see, I'm gonna take. And we have those little stems that you cut out for the tops yes. of the pumpkins. This is funny because I was, sometimes I forget because some, okay. When we are naming products, sometimes we go through four or five, 12, 13, 100 different ideas for names for products. And then I feel silly sometimes when I can't remember the name of a product because hello, it's my product has my name on it. I, I can't remember the name. One. For a second, I was like, what is this called? But just for a second. But it's how do you November? But oh. I turned. Oh, that's the oh oh. Okay, <laughs> there you so, go. It's how do you November? <laughs> and it does say it right here. So I turned it over, and it's the burr. It's December. It's in the wrong packaging, which made me laugh. I just thought maybe you'd 
have a laugh with me. Okay, so I think we I'm got there. <laughs> what? We got there. We got there. Um, yes. So that was the Club Canvo set from last year. And it is adorable. So much fun to use. I've used it for cards lots and lots because of all the cute little images. And the little pie. The pie. I love the pie. Crazy. Adorable. Okay, so howdy November. I'm way ahead of the game with this. Way ahead. And then I went, oh my gosh, these pumpkins. I love them. Look at how beautiful with that champagne starry, 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 colors. starry colors. Okay. I, I haven't seen Wentworth on Netflix. Jamie, what's it about? Is it like a cop show or like a drama? Maybe I should have done Howdy November the other way. Because <laughs> now I... <laughs> Libby said if she started doing this, she'd end up making enough pumpkins for the next 10 years because they're so cute. Does this look okay? It's pretty. How's yes. That? I like the layout, and I love how the colors are looking overlapped there. Okay. Let's start gluing down, and then I have something to add. Sharon, welcome. You're new. If anybody else is new, let us know. Happy to have you. So glad that you're joining us. If you are just joining in... We are just making some fun cards, different themes using ink blending and water techniques on die cuts. And this was our initial inspo, this Starbucks ad, with these yummy pumpkin drinks on top of a stack of gorgeous Catherine Pooler ink colored pumpkins. <laughs> Do you think the folks at Starbucks knew they were using CP ink colors when they made that <laughs> fantastic ad? <laughs> I'm super so, impressed. You know that guy that I was that cutting out? Me. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, where, oh, here he is. Okay. So, you guys. What do you got? Look. Look at him. The scarecrow. <gasps> so cute. You fussy cut him. I did. Yeah. Oh. That's cute. That is so cute. He's in the back of the field. Yes. <laughs> So be this How Do You November stamp set, since it's a cambo, it does not have dies. So I had to fussy so cut it. So she fussy them. cut it. I fussy cut that pie and the pumpkin in this set, as well as that coffee cup. I fussy cut all of those. It was worth it. This is It's a set cute so set. Adorable. Yeah, yeah. And if you are a Cersei subscriber, you just got in the mail your fall-themed set of products as well, which will work great for this. Absolutely. I thought I'd made too many cards with that, so I had to take five. <laughs> I still haven't posted all of mine up on my Insta feed either. I have more. So excited. This one. Such fun. Can't forget stems. Yeah, and I was thinking about that when I was layering. I was like, do they all need... Needs, you know, if you layer things mm -hmm. a certain way, sometimes you don't see all of them. But I ended up doing it in the picture. You can see them all because of the way the pumpkins are shaped. But I did have a moment where I was like, do I just need like three of these? Like, do I need 16 of them? How many Let's do see, I need? Now, this guy is going to cover up the scarecrow. And of course, this isn't sized correctly, but this isn't real life, you guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a real life scarecrow. You should know they love the scarecrow. <laughs> Donna, it's so your first funny. time joining us from Australia. Welcome, oh, Donna. Wonderful. All right. And I have a Kate is also guys. new. Welcome, Kate. Oh, we're so happy to have new friends. It's great. I'm just going to uh, direct to paper these. And I'm gonna have some seriously inky fingers here. I think Kate put a little squirrel or a chipmunk or something on here, and that's just too cute. That I feel oh, like I need to make that a stamp. Is adorable. A chipmunk stamp. <laughs> a little baby chipmunk. That's a fall <laughs> thing. Goodness okay. me. And here's some there. Um, the Cersei that we've been showing just went out for subscribers, so it's about a month before it goes into the shop. So I would say like late October is when that uh, yeah. stamp set and dies will be available. 
if you are not a subscriber. Ooh, Ruth Ann, I love it. She's thinking of using this idea on a slimline layout. Oh, I can totally yes. get behind that. Totally get behind it. So keep watching because I have something coming for that. Why did I just put that in there? All right. We have an announcement to make. We have an announcement. But let me finish putting this together first. So there's mine. Where's yours? I don't think we're going to have time to do this part. Right over there. Okay. That's fine. We can so save we it. That. <laughs> yeah, we can save it. All right. So there are our two cards. They're super Love fun. It. Oh, and you did hot tub on the back of this. I did. It's fantastic. And then the chalkboard frames die. I here. did. Yeah. Really nice. And that, that sentiment did come out of the Cersei, as well as the little right. to-go cup. Okay. I couldn't help it. All right. It here was we go. sitting on my desk, so. So, the announcement. Yeah, there's a little baggie around this here. This is for somewhere. me. <laughs> Those are for you to find the little baggie that they go in. Do I win a prize? Which, somewhere around here. Do I win a prize? <laughs> so, um, World Card Making Day is coming yes. up. It is always the first Saturday of October. And over at Stamp Nation, several years ago, uh, eight to be exact, yeah, it was we, like more than several. several, eight years ago over on Stamp Nation, we celebrated our very first World Card Making Day. We had a weekend long party. So we did challenges around the clock all weekend long, every two hours, posted new, new challenges. That's a marathon. <laughs> based on uh, a set, set, uh, set theme. Um, and that was our first one. And then every year it's always been our biggest event of the year mm -hmm. um, in addition to our birthday party in January. So those are our two biggest events during the year. So this year, thanks to COVID, mm. <laughs> As a result because, of COVID. As a result of COVID. Something good came from it. Making Zoom become a big thing. <laughs> that sounded so awkward, but you guys know what I mean. So over, you know, we have to do all these conferences and meetings and stuff by via Zoom. And we kind of discovered it was a great thing to do with a, nice a community platform. of stampers. Mm -hmm. So for our release last week, we did a Zoom party with our Stamp Nation members. And we had an absolute ball. It was so much fun. We did some demonstrations. We had our uh, brand ambassadors on there creating and then all of our members were invited to join. And so we, you know, celebrated together and had a really great time. We were happy cackling the whole time because it was just it was so, fun so fun to see everyone yeah. and have different um, brand ambassadors do the demos and mm -hmm. it was great. So we decided to extend that and do a whole weekend long virtual retreat for yes. World Card Making Day for our Stamp Nation members. So we will kick off on Friday at 3 p.m. I think that's October 2nd. Erica and I mm -hmm. will do some demos and give away some prizes and have a whole lot of fun via Zoom with our Stamp Nation members. Um, on Saturday, we will have three different sessions, 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 6 p.m. Our brand ambassadors, I think nine of them are participating. Yeah. So there's going to be nine different little classes and demonstrations going on, nine, two, and six. And we have like seven or eight sponsors. And we have sponsors. We'll be giving away prizes all throughout that. And then on Sunday, Eric and I will do some more demos and the wrap-up party. So this is a free event that comes with your Stamp Nation membership. So you can either do $9.95 a month. 27 for a quarter or if you pay $99 you get access for the entire year so think about that there are virtual retreats that I've seen that are more than that for just a weekend retreat yeah. so for $99 you get the entire year and men member benefits include ordering perks like you get to order first and your order ships first from the clubhouse sometimes we give freebies to our members mm -hmm. we have a uh, exclusive Facebook community group we have a Stamp Nation website with classes and tutorials and challenges and events that are hosted there and it's an amazing community of like-minded crafters yes. we're excited yeah so if you're not a member yet katherinepooler.com slash stamp nation you can go set up your membership now and you'll be all set to join us so excited and if you're a member already 
how much fun are we going to have? All of the classes, all of these sessions will be recorded yes. and uploaded to the Stamp Nation site. So if you're not there live, it will be there for you later and you can participate. Yeah, Stamp Nation's always been a global community. So we're aware that some of you are in various time zones and sometimes certain time slots don't work. That's why that first year you guys did stuff every couple of hours because you were trying to make sure you hit everybody. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so we'll record everything and it'll be available mm -hmm. over on the Stamp Nation page for you guys to partake. Yeah. If, if you miss it, you can always watch the yeah. replays. So, so, and if you've never done a Zoom, Karen, test it out. Mm -hmm. Get in there with a friend or a family member. Ask one of your family members to help you out. Give it a test. It's or very easy. Get on with us and it'll take you a minute and a half yeah, to figure, to it, figure out, it out. Probably. And members are always there to help. Um, there were a couple people last time that hadn't been on. And um, everybody was very helpful. Yes. Where is this stuff? Oh, okay. I don't know. Here we go. All right. So Erica <laughs> inspired me with this. We're going to set this aside. <clears throat> and I pulled out Wrap It Up Stamp Set, Little Something Sentiment Set. <clears throat> Then there's the dies for these guys. And then there was a party print circle, which I don't have. Guys, guys. I, sorry, rhyming words get me every time. What did I say? Did I rhyme? Dies for these guys. Dies, dies, dies. for these guys. <laughs> so, and this was a Cersei, and this is now available in a shop. So, I was ink blending with these last night. Because look at these. Like, when you stamp them... They look like this, but you can use them with or without the stamps. Aren't these adorable? Yes. These little packages. So, so cute. Adorable. All right. I'm just catching up on, does the Stamp Nation membership auto renew or do I get a reminder to resubscribe? It auto renews. And if you at any time need to cancel, just... Um, you can log into your account and cancel or send an email to support at katherinepooler.com and we'll cancel it for you. But yes, it does auto renew. Patty, I love this. Patty's niece wanted to come and craft with her for World Car Making Day. So they're going to be together for oh, the event. Fantastic. Love it. Tammy, any more animals coming? You mean just in general or uh, in Cersei or, but keep your the eyes answer peeled. is. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Um, Sandy, recap of the products. We used the um, Hay Pumpkin dies, which have been restocked. Um, Catherine used the Howdy November stamp set, which is on the shelves. And I also used the um, chalkboard frame dies. And then I did use that Cersei uh, Pumpkin Season stamp set for my sentiment. I will go ahead and put up a blog post for this. Uh, video within the next day or so and I will have everything listed out for you I'll put a I'll put a supply list together too so that that helps you yay I'm glad you guys are excited we're we're excited are they excited about the zoom yeah about our yeah. world car making day extravaganza I am so excited I can't wait so I love this because these packages again these are heavily patterned stamps, but we are doing a stamp stampless technique today with this, <laughs> just using these die cuts and some ink blending, and it really makes some fun things. I just really love how these projects come out, and I really don't know why. I was totally struggling in my brain. How do I make a solid pumpkin? Duh. Uh. <laughs> Um, Holly, I think it auto renews unless you cancel. Yes. So, but you can, if you have any questions like that, you guys can always email support at katherinepooler.com. Valerie's here, so she'll tell you. She's quick. <laughs> and um, we, we try to send out your questions to the people on staff who can best help you, best serve you. So, um, it will be recorded, Pat. So if you miss it, we will post those videos back up on the Stamp Nation membership card. Sandy, that coffee cup also came out of that Cersei. Didn't you get, Sandy, are you a Cersei subscriber? 
Lori, what sets will be featured during the retreat? Well, the, here's the fun part. Ah! We are going to be dipping back into the World Card Making Day archives. And each of the people who are demoing, each of the brand ambassadors, are picking their own ideas or techniques that they feel inspired by. So I don't even know what they're going to use. Yeah. So it'll be a surprise um, what they choose. It won't be anything specific. Um, that they are using in Unstamp Nation. We love all companies, so occasionally we even use other companies' products when we do projects. Mm -hmm. So that's also possible. Some of them oh. might have something that they pull in and share um, as well. So it'll be fun. Wonderful, wonderful. I might just do this. What if I just did a little shopping bag here? Cute. I kind of want this to be brown. Make it brown. <clears throat> oh, that's cute. I think it needs to have the gold flex on it. Yes. Okay, so this didn't go too far. Make sure there's enough water in there. get this back I know I keep thinking oh boy here it goes I know um, <gasps> stamping on camera sometimes is a little scary because I have such a small little Win like window window of where I'm supposed <laughs> to be working and then like when I'm home like I have my whole table and I don't have to worry about it right but... now it's, it's getting a little bit it's stretching Oh, did you show them your this card? Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do have another a card that I made last night with these packages. I'm going to show you in a minute. Do you want me I to get a little cup of water or something to? Oh, could put that brush in. You have a cup over here that looks like it has water in it. <laughs> it's probably my drinking cup. Yeah, but <laughs> but no worries. Were you drinking out of that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of not feeling that. I feel like there needs to be like a a square package. Wait. Mm, let me do this. Hopefully that's not Sprite. This one needs to be. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my drink left over. Um, and it was just ice cubes that melted. Yeah. So <laughs> good. Although now I need it to to. I just didn't even <laughs> Oh, Diane. Valerie's trumped me in her world now. <laughs> because she's so awesome. It's okay. Oh. That that doesn't hurt my feelings because Val is pretty great. Um, you could put a jack-o'-lantern face on the orange bag and it would be like a little kid's Halloween oh. card. That's a cute idea. <laughs> Shirley said Valerie puts up with all her crazy questions. <laughs> Didi, the date uh, is the first weekend of October. I think it's the second, third, and fourth. So the third will be is World Card Making Day, the first Saturday in October. So did I say second? First Saturday in October. Second, third, and fourth. Brittany, you're just in time. We're still making a way. Did Brittany just get here? She said, phew, I made it. <laughs> oh, so she missed the announcement. She did. Brittany, you have to go back and watch the replay. You're not going to tell her? <laughs> We'll recap in a minute. I love that this looks like a picnic basket. Oh. You know, like the, I got one like that to my car. It was my uh, um, antique shop find over the weekend. So like that or like this? I think like that. Yeah. And then I can do this. Someone else can spill the beans now. All right. Go ahead and spill the beans to her. And then I had more of these guys like stamped in um, black. Yeah. Let me just show you what I did last night. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. So a rainbow of packages with the black and white bows and then the black tie gala cardstock behind the doodle window slimline die. Can you guys see how there's the texture there? Because when it die cuts, it also embosses. So just to say, my birthday's coming up. And if that's what it looked like there, I wouldn't be sad. 
if this is what your birthday looked like. A rainbow array of prezzies for me. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> I like it. So I do not have all the bows and stuff that I want for this, but we won't take the time to actually do that right now. I will add those later and we will add a photo um, when the blog post goes up or I'll, I'll add it later, but there we go. So cute. There, so same colors. So we've got that. We've got this. Wow, it's it's a mess in here, y'all. It is. And then we've got this, all with the same colors. There's one more card that I wanted to show. So you started ink blending the trees. Erica did these on our Facebook live stream the other day while I was creating. I still feel like making some of these, so maybe I'll make some on Friday. Okay. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do some just a few cards with the trees. Maybe I'll ink blend and I'll stamp and I'll do yeah. embossing maybe. And again, this is the Jolly Trees stamps are very patterned and they're fantastic. But if you want solid, mm. you can just go ahead and use your die cuts or your dies. And yeah, your die cuts to create something like this. Ta -da -da! Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Oh, they love they love your slimline card. We're we're catching up. <laughs> Here, I love this card, Erica. Thanks. You have been slaying it lately. Hi, I'm gonna admit something. My brush was dirty when I tried to do the meant to be on the back and I ended up adding oh. some other colors to fix it. Oh. So there's some something borrowed in there. Uh-huh. Because it I didn't fantastic. care for the color. So it, it was great. my fault. I should have just direct to papered it and then um cut the die out. But you know, either way. I don't feel like I'm quite done with this concept here. I don't either. So I think we need to continue on Friday. That would be great. Would you guys be up for seeing more ink blending and water techniques on die cuts on Friday. And maybe we'll do some of that, but then we'll also do some state. I don't know. I don't know. I feel inspired by what we did here. There's a little, so I like just that there's keep on. these, the bows you stamped on here. I did. And the rest, and the sentiments obviously, mm -hmm. and the rest is just technique pieces and pattern paper, which is so fun. Yeah. And someone said earlier, they love seeing different ways to stretch their supplies. So they love that we, we've shown them some ways to stretch their supplies. Good. This, this is, is fun. fun. <laughs> we have a piece of artwork over here we need to approve now before the day is over. Oh. You have a task list for us a before couple we of leave? Things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I had a ball. This was very fun. We loved having you. Thank yeah. you. And I also need to come into the office probably tomorrow to record my Sunday video. I have not been consistent with my premieres. Okay. Friday, though, Facebook. Yes, noon. at noon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Join us there. Yeah. Over on Catherine's Facebook. Mm -hmm. See you then. Thanks for hanging Bye. out. See you soon.